If you've ever seen a humanoid robot in action, you've probably felt something strange. A mix of awe, but also perhaps a slight shiver down your spine. They're not just machines. They're not mere tools. They're definitely something more. Why do we insist on making robots that look like us? Well, there seems to be a very practical explanation. For centuries, we've shaped our environment to accommodate and facilitate human life. Buildings, tools, vehicles, streets, Everything was designed with bodies like ours in mind. A visual world, accessible with four limbs. A robot that walks on two legs can climb stairs without redesigning the entire building. One with hands can use the same tools we already have. Digitizing everything in our environment would take a long time and it would be very costly. Unless we can leverage the environment as it is. Anthropomorphism in robotics is the perfect interface between the biological and the digital. But what if practicality is just an excuse? What if we're hardwired to recreate ourselves, even at a cost? Could it be that beyond function we seek a reflection of ourselves, something almost spiritual, even emotional? For centuries, humanity has tried to replicate itself. Our myths and tales tell us something about that. Pygmalion sculpted Galatea, seeking to liberate her from the constraints of stone. Rabbis molded golems from clay to protect their people. Victor Frankenstein defied death by assembling a new being in his image. Many religions believe we, humans, were created in the image and likeness of something greater. But something bigger always hides behind shiny promises of creation. What lurks behind modern robotics? Here's the twist. For the first time, we're giving digital intelligence a physical form. A body. A face. A voice. A robot created in our likeness can instantly inherit everything we've built for our own comfort. But when that happens, what place will humanity occupy? Are we signing our early retirement? Robot technology comes with the pledge of faster production, stronger security and a world easier to control. But to achieve this, it's equipped with an intelligence we still don't fully understand. Yet we're handing it the keys to our kingdom. New smart devices have the ability to interact with our entire environment and carry within them the potential of intelligent systems. Vast and unfathomable. What happens when the technological mystery of AI walks among us? At the gates of our society stands a promise wrapped in an enigma. Are we safe?